ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the stream. It is Thursday. It is hot, hot, hot outside. It is muggy. It is blur. So it's a great day to be inside cooking. Uh, we have the air conditioners on. So that's nice. <laughs> um, today we are going to be doing a couple of things. Um, we are going to be, the main thing we're going to be doing is cooking crumpets. <laughs> Homemade crumpets, here we come. Um, the, there is a, a certain amount of time that we are going to be, um, Twitch Bella, thank you for the follow. Doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what are we doing? Ah, oh, yes. So, uh, there is a bit of a rising time for the dough. So, in the in the middle of that, we're going to be doing a couple of things, um, and we'll see how we go with that. So, um, here we go. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, as always, uh, the music is by White Bat Audio, uh, Carl Casey at White Bat Audio, check them out on YouTube if you like it, it's all Twitch safe royalty free music, um, go check it out. So, we are making some dough. Um, we're going to, we're using dry yeast for this, uh, we're going to activate it, uh, whoops, <laughs> We're going to activate it for a few minutes, um, get it going before we throw it into the into the mix itself. Uh, so we're taking about 250 mils of uh, lukewarm water, about 40 degrees. If you if you've got a temperature gauge, set it to about 40 degrees. Otherwise, guess it. You know, good shower temperature is probably what you're looking at, right? There's a nice, nice temperature that you'd have a shower in. That's what you want to do. That sort of temperature of water. Then I'm throwing in a packet, seven grams of yeast, and we're going to let that activate. So we'll get that going. Now we've just got to wait for the water to heat up <laughs> to just the right temperature, honest. Come on, buddy. See, it was warm, then it went cold, now it's trying to warm up again. Weird. Weird, I tell you. We're going for about 250 mil, maybe a little less. So you yeah, know, about a cup. If it if it's a little bit too warm, if you think it's a little bit too warm, just put a splash of cold in. Easy. So it's always easier if you don't have temperature control. Um, make it a little warmer than maybe. And then when you um, when you actually test it, you go Wah. throw a bit of cold in. Oh wait, I'm almost almost forgot. We're also putting some sugar in this one, so the yeast has got something to eat. <laughs> uh, one teaspoon. it up trying to get it to dissolve a little bit there we go and the yeasties can eat it so put the sugar in we've got it dissolved now I'm going to throw the yeast in Ta -da. yeast I'm just going to mix that in Making sure that we get the, as you stir it in, it is going to go up the sides a little bit. So just make sure you scrape down the sides. 
Whoops. Make sure you splash it all over your keyboard, otherwise is it really an Oryx stream? <laughs> all right, that looks pretty good. So you can see that has just gone into a, a brown cloudy mush. And now we leave it there to activate. So, should be about 10 minutes, give or take. Uh, so we're going to set a little timer. Set a little timer. There we go. All right. And that is yeast. Hey, what's going on? Stop it, camera. Stop being a problem child. Um, right, now we get to clean up a little bit already. I like that. I like it. So, <laughs> look at that. That probably about centimeter, uh, two centimeters high, about two centimeters high. It's a bit wide. Where's your egg ring? Hang on. So this is your average egg ring. This is a crumpet ring. <laughs> so you can see there is a fair size difference between the two. Um, I went, I went looking all over the place uh, yesterday for to try and find some crumpet rings. I, I looked online um, and uh, certain shops were, were said to have them. Uh, so I went looking, I went looking specifically Harris Scarf, went in there and they're like, they're in the online store, they're not in the real store. And I'm like, okay, fine. So then I went to a specialty cook shop, nothing there. Second specialty cook shop, nothing there. Um, went to like, I think Big W, Tajay, and or Kmart, no, not Kmart, there's not a Kmart there. Um, I think I went to Big W, Tajay doesn't have them. But anyway, went to a couple more shops, jumped back in the car, and I'm sitting in the car and I'm going, okay, here we go, I'm meant to be doing bloody crumpets tomorrow. So I look it up on my phone, and it's like, crump, non-stick crumpet rings at Spotlight. <laughs> so, um, I went to Spotlight, having no idea um, where anything but material is in Spotlight, because that's why I go to Spotlight. Um, went searching around, hunting around, found all sorts of interesting things in that shop. Um, none of which I bought. <laughs> um, and eventually got to Crumpet Rings. So there you go. I had an adventure trying to get Crumpet Rings. We got four. Um, We'll see how that goes. Ooh, look at that. Nice. I don't know if that's the... Okay. I think it's the... You've got that nice little froth line going around, around there. That's what we're looking for. That's the yeast, yeast waking up, eating the sugar and having a go. Um, we've still got quite a bit of time for that to do that, but hopefully that is what's going to give us um, all the bubbles, basically all the, all the bubbles in the crumpets. Um, we'll see. <laughs> all right. Um, now we can use a hand whisk for this. Should I use a hand whisk for this? I probably should. It's going to be, you can use an electric whisk. And I'm debating using an, uh, still debating. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, what are we looking for? Technically, we're meant to add the yeast first. I don't think, especially using an electric beater, I don't think it's going to matter that much. But So, we'll start measuring this out. Um, and we'll see how we go. Uh, so we want our 50 50. Bing! I had, when I was in Spotlight, one of the interesting things I had was one of those, those hand sifters. 
and I'm, I'm squeezing at it and I'm watching the action and I'm going, nah, that action's not even moving. It's like, no. So I tried to find one. I am trying to find one. I will find a good one eventually. Uh, what am I looking for? Something to weigh in. Um, how much am I weighing? Only 180 grams. Okay. Um, that bowl should do. We've got new batteries for the scales. We haven't got new batteries for the, the temperature thing yet, sadly. Uh, right. So we want 180 grams. teaspoon of salt and baking powder how much baking powder one teaspoon of baking powder that can go away that's just got salt on it um, <laughs> fresh baking powder I don't know if you can see that, but it's just, just it was just wafting off. Done. Uh, no, that's there. There. <laughs> All right, that's done with. That'll wipe out later. Close the doors. And why aren't these bits going through? It's bits of salt. You're going to be able to see this, but they left a pretty little pattern. <laughs> cool. Alright, so that's that sieved. We're waiting. We've got another minute and a half for this to keep going. But that seems to be frothing up nicely. Yay! So I get to have a little coffee grate. I said, uh, we'll get this, we'll get the, uh, we'll get the yeast in a minute, we'll get the yeast into this, we'll mix it up, and then we're going to set it aside for a while, and let it rise, let it rise, I had thought of doing several of these, and um, like doing up a mixture of, um, of batter, and then leaving it aside and, uh, and go put finish this one and then go here's what I prepared earlier but normally not a fan however this one would probably work because um, I doubt these crumpets are gonna last a day <laughs> so, 
So, or at least the first batch. I doubt it's going to last the day. But we live and learn, right? We learn over time. We learn these things. Okay. So you can get turned off. Off. So I think we've used all our ingredients now. Let's just check. Flour, yes. Water, yes. Yeast, yes. Salt, yes. Baking powder, yes. Sugar, yes. And butter. So that's it. That's all our ingredients. Done. Yay! <laughs> I always like it when it's nice, simple. I'm not going to have a lot of dishes to do post stream. That's going to be nice. Oh, what's going on? Is that finished? I did not hear an alarm. Did you guys hear an alarm? I did not. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, going to have to keep an eye on that. We are having technical difficulties yet again. Alright, so, we have our, oh, that's getting, that's getting really nice and frothy. So, there you go. You can see that's frothing up nicely. So that all goes in there. I don't generally work with activated yeast, so I don't know how bad it dries. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mixy, 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 mix. That looks pretty. <laughs> Don't know how runny this is meant to be. Doesn't really say. Because I would have thought, because you can see that's it's runny, but it's it's still got a fair bit of a fair bit of glue to it. But what the recipe says. Don't mess with the recipe, Ulrich, till you've made it at least once. <laughs> Alright. So we are scraping down the sides as we go. So, just so that you can see that a bit better. I'm running the, just running the whisk around with I'm just running the whisk around the edges and that tends to bring most of it back down into where I want it to go. Alright, a little bit more and that should be enough. I'm just going to do a final scrape down, but I'm going to do this one a little better, if I can. <laughs> and down it goes. Tastes like batter. <laughs> so, you know, neither good nor bad. Um, Baking soda out of that one. That's interesting. 
Now that said, I've just had my teeth cleaned, I've had fluoride, I've had polish, I've had bubble gum flavours all in my mouth. So I don't know. <laughs> might be the batter, might be my dental experience. Alright, uh, now we need to set a timer for that. Hopefully this next timer will go off. Um, Alright, so that's on. Timer on. Alright, so I'm just going to duck out, grab the next set of ingredients, um, and I'll be back. And we're back. Alright, what we should do, I'm not actually going to see a lot because it's, you know, a bowl, but we'll put the bowl in the camera. <laughs> it's a nice warm place. Right, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a decent, warm place where you want to put it. Um, some people will will rise dough like in a in the shady, dappled sunlight. Um, some will put some people will put it in direct sunlight. It really depends on the temperature of the day. You know, on a on a 40 degree Celsius day, which is like I don't know 200,000 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Fine, I'll check. Um, <laughs> Um, 40 C to F, uh, 104. So, uh, if your, if your, uh, if your temperature gauge has cracked the century, um, <laughs> then, um, if it's cracked the century, then, uh, that's probably a little much for your dough. <laughs> I don't know what the temperature is today. What is it? Uh, it's only 24 degrees, so we're only, you know, 58, 60 degrees Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit. So, right, what we're doing is I have been, uh, over the course of um, the last couple of weeks, uh, there's been a whole heap of fruit here. Anyway, there's been a whole heap of fruit that is cheap. That normally, is not cheap. However, um, for various reasons, um, I have not been able to make the ice cream that is going to go along with all of this cheap fruit. So what I've been doing is I've been getting packets of fruit and basically pureeing them. Then throw them in the freezer. Puree, throw them in the freezer, be done with it. Um, so at the moment, what we're going to do is while we're waiting for the, uh, the dough, while we're waiting for the dough, that's one of the things we're going to do. We're going to do some prepping of some raspberries. I haven't actually, um, we're going to use an electric blender for this. Um, I haven't actually made a raspberry ice cream before. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much is meant to be going in it. So we've got um, 500 grams of raspberries here, which hopefully will be an adequate amount. Um, oh no, we don't have a kettle now. I've had to unplug the kettle. <laughs> um, it will hopefully be enough that um, that will make an ice cream. So all we're going to do is we're going to... Make sure there's no greeby bits on them as I throw them into the bucket. <laughs> Open. Sometimes they can be just a little bit dodged. But these seem okay. These are just, these aren't any, any special or anything like that. They're just, uh, from our local supermarché. <laughs> might end up using half of this, might end up using the whole lot. I'm, for memory, I don't think I've ever measured it, how much I actually put in. I just keep putting it in. So, this time around, <laughs> um, I may, uh, I may, um, 
uh, actually measure how much, well, I have measured, I know there's 500 grams in each of the, the things that we've done, so, here we go. <laughs> this is always nervous, it's like, I need to cover it, because it's going to spray everywhere. Okay, that works better than the strawberries did. Tart will go nicely against the sweet of the ice cream. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I'm not licking the blades. <laughs> I licked the outside. <laughs> so, um, we are now going to just chuck it in a... Um, this is a takeaway container, an old takeaway container um, that we have since um, washed and cleaned and all that, and we keep for this purpose. So we're just going to scrape this out. much of this out as I can. Because, you know, fruit is not cheap even when it's cheap. Ta-da! Now, we're probably going to use need this for the next thing we're doing. Because it's going to be interesting to measure. Although, what's, it says on the box, it says a thing on the box, so we're going to have a look. Anyway, so we grab that, um, and that goes, oh no, spillage, <laughs> good thing I have a clean counter when I start. I will, um, after stream, I will put that in the freezer, and uh, that'll stay in the freezer forever. Well, won't, it'll, <laughs> it'll probably stay in the freezer, it can. Um, I think, I think about a year is the longest I've had, um, because where did we go? A couple of years ago we went, um, I think it was up to Handel, and, um, there was just like 500 gram punnets of strawberries for two dollars. It was just ridiculously cheap. Who knew going to the source? Um, and so we went and, we went and got them, and I got just... I think I've got like $20 worth of straw. <laughs> it was like five kilos or something of strawberries. No. 500 grams for two bucks. Kilo for four. I don't know. Anyway, um, a lot of strawberries. So I, I did that, went through that process, mushed it all up, and um, then got, uh, over time, just made more and more ice cream. And... Uh, so yeah, that, that lot I think lasted me about, I think the last straw, I laid the, made the last strawberry ice cream at the start of the next summer. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so, and it still worked just fine. It was tasty. There was, there was um, very little degradation of the flavor uh, overall. There was some, but yeah. Um, generally though, these, we're coming into the start of summer, so these probably aren't gonna last that long. Um, and yeah, so 
that'll go in the freezer and then we'll, I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to use the whole thing. I think I'll have to half them. So I think we'll be doing, looking at it, I think we'll be doing 250 grams. But what I also want to do is I want to, uh, event, at the time when I make the, the um, when I make the actual um, ice cream, <laughs> that um, going to um, get some more raspberries, freeze them basically, and then quarter them, cut them in, in quarters, and then sprinkle them through. So you've actually got proper chunks of raspberry in the raspberry ice cream. And I think that is just gonna be insane. So that represents $12 worth of raspberries uh, for that 500 grams. Um, so not the cheapest they've been, but close, close. Um, and considering they can get up to like seven, eight, I think even $10 for one of those punnets, getting it while it's cheap and, and freezing it is so the way to go. But, right, so there's that bit. Um, next bit, we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. So, um, we might turn the chop cam off for this one. Nope. <laughs> that's not the chop cam, that's the comp cam. All right, I'm gonna turn the chop cam off for this one. And we're gonna have a look at this wee beast. Uh -uh -uh. So, beastie. <laughs> um, this is the whoop, iron flask. Iron flask, flash. Um, this was a gift to me from the Upright Man, and so thanks Upright. <laughs> um, and here we go. It says, okay, so it says it's 128 ounces. So what's 128 odds to liters? Let's find out. Um, 128 odds to liters. <laughs> Basically 3.8 litres. This is 3.8 litres of volume. <laughs> nice little, yeah. You got this. I know it's backwards, but yeah. Can we do it on this one? <laughs> you got this. <laughs> so. Alright. First things first, we have a ooh. It's a thermos. <laughs> Doing deeply. Is that oh, okay, I see. Alright, so that's interesting. So you can see that there's no um, thread. And I'm going, why how is that screwing on if there's no thread? Turns out the thread is on the inside and it's on the inside on that nub that has, that's where the thread is. That threads on and, and secures. You can see there is a, a rubber, a, there is a seal in there. And that actually locks back that. So that sort of, it doesn't go doesn't swing back. You've actually got to manually swing it past that that point. So that's nice. So when you you know, oh, it's not falling in your face. All right. So there's that. What else we got? Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, look at this. <laughs> Bigger than my head. <laughs> right, we'll, leave the, we'll leave the box down there so the cats have got something to play with. Alright, 
So we have this thing weighs. Hang on. Just on its own. Let's find out. Uh, nearly 1.7 kilos. That there's nothing in that. That's 1.7 kilos. So if you put, whoops, let's turn that off before we put it away. Um, so what? If you put, how many liters did we say it was? Three, three and a half. Uh, if you put like an extra three kilos in that, that's a 5k dumbbell. You can do squats. You can do all sorts of things for that. So, sorry, <laughs> you can't see that. It was just one of the legs. All right. Oh, ah, okay. So, straw. So the, the, that's the, the sippy mechanism. Probably hear that. It seemed like you could hear that. And it's got a spare straw, which is always nice. Um, the straw just pops off, pops on. Sweet. Um, patent pending with a lid. But you can see this one, it just doesn't have that seal. Right? So, yeah. That one's got the seal, and that one doesn't. So, hot, cold, my guess. Whoops, oh, easy. Right, there we go. Didn't quite want to go on that, mate, if didn't get one. Um, fortunately, okay, so let's see. We have, um, ooh, okay, that's weird. We have metal straws that we use in the house, so they're totally reusable straws. So the question is, this is the metal straw cleaner. Hang on. Uh, metal straw cleaner. All right, it's not going to go all the way through, but if you go from both sides, you should be fine. All right, so we have we have the ability to clean the inside of that straw. That said, I'm pretty sure if you went to like a, a homebrew shop or something like that, you could probably find a longer handled variant of that. That wouldn't surprise me. Um, right. Oh, lucky dip. That's just solid metal. All right, what do we got? So we have silica gel. One of these days, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. It's the day. Let's do it. Ah. You might get me in all sorts of trouble for this. All right. So what I'm gonna do is find where the scissors have gone. That's step one. Nope, they're AWOL. So get crappy knife, stab hole in silica bag. Open silica bag. Oh, there you go. All right, so hang on, let's turn the chop cam back on. There you go, that's what it looks like inside one of those. If you've never opened one, they're just little beads. Can you see it better in that one? No, not really. So yeah, they're just little beads. So now, <laughs> put some water in it and see what happens. If I die. <laughs> A 
Okay, some of them just went away. I mean, they're in there. I put a tech, I, I put a fair whack of water in there. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> See what happens. All right, we got you got this iron flask. I don't know if this is a, a sticker or a. I don't know. It feels like a sticker. I'm gonna see if I can peel it. Yep. Okay. There we go. Yes. That is indeed. Um. Yeah. All right. There you go. That is a sticker. You get an iron flask sticker. Whoops. Ah. Come back. I saw you little escapey thing. The little silicon thing that escaped. They don't seem to be expanding. So, alright. Alright, ensure spout is screwed tightly. Screw lid is shown in the images below. To avoid leakage, please screw the lid tightly as shown below. And if there is leakage, please screw the lid tightly with strength, as shown in step three. Okay, did I? Okay, because that just said to me, screw it tighter and tighter and tighter. Ensure the spout is screwed tightly. Okay. Screw the lid as shown in the images below. Screw, screw, screw. Right. To avoid leakage, please screw the lid tightly as shown below. If there is leakage, please screw the lid tightly with the strength. How you doing, VP? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Doing the happy dance. 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 The happy dance. We're doing an unboxing. We got a, uh, a giant 102 billion Oz, like three and a half litre watering can from Upright. So we're going through the things. So that's the spout lid. The straw lid. Ensure nozzle is tightly closed. Um, screw the lid shown as the image is below. Avoid leakage. Please screw the lid tightly as, screw, as shown below. As screen below. If there is leakage, please screw the lid tightly with strength, as shown in step three. Okay. Uh, 26 months, VP. That's huge. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> I didn't read I was like, wow. Nice. Right. Stop. Before using, register your iron flask for lifetime warranty stuff. Okay. It is BPA, BPA free. FDA approved and non-toxic. FDA? What's the FDA? Why do they need to approve my drink bottle? <laughs> there we go. So, this is a hot and cold flask. Um, ding! And that's the information we get with it. So, hang on. Let's turn the chop cam off again. Whoop. So, Screw the lid on tightly. If it leaks, screw it on tightly. And then if it leaks, screw it on tightly. <laughs> nice. So there we go. And we should check this other lid. This is pretty cool too. This locks in place. So where you put it, that's that's kind of where it stays. Which is nice. Oh, this one goes on a bit different. <laughs> How are you doing, VP? What have you been up to? There we go. That is my new drink bottle. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is this is gonna come in handy when I, I bugger off to places like um why is that not screwing on? I broke it! I think it might be that straw in the way. It's the same length straw. Yeah, pretty much. Still sick, mostly been playing survival games. Which ones are you playing? I don't know why that doesn't wanna... Ah, there we go, now it's screwing on. Don't know why it didn't. Ta-da! <laughs> so thanks, Upright. Loving your work. Oh, that is going to come in handy, I tell you. Dinkum, Planet, Craf Planet Crafter, Valheim, My Time at Porsche. Okay, yeah, right. Well. All the silicon beads are still there. They're still rock solid. They don't appear to have, have soaked up any water. So I don't know what that packet's meant to do. You feel like I should do dinkum at some point? Why so? All right, we've got about 10 minutes left on this dough. Oh. All right, we'll quickly show this. You can see that has risen, whoop, top cam. You can see that, top cam. Top cam, there we go. You can see that that has risen significantly. That's, that was started about there. So that's nearly doubled in size and you can see there that it's starting to get all nice and bubbly. Nice. I was a touch concerned about that. But there we go. It's based on Australia, made by a solo Aussie dev. Ah, okay, all right, I'll have a look into it. Um, so VP, this this uh, this recipe we're making, this is the one you suggested. Um, this crumpet recipe. Yay! Finally making crumpets. Um, oh, also, after I started that cake recipe, it turned out to just be a normal sugary cake. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is the recipe that you recommended we make. And so we are making it. Getting getting the, the crumpet rings, that was an adventure. <laughs> Batter up. Now this is, this is my big fry pan, right? And that's, that fit nicely fits four, um, four rings in it. So how thick do I want to make the crumpies? That is the question. And if I did, did like one scoop of that, they'd probably be about half the height, which would be about right for a crumpet, yeah? These are the things we figure out as we go. <laughs> Take a, a 500 mil, no, it's probably, yeah, no, no. Take a 200 mil ladle and ladle in mixture. <laughs> Ah. Wait! No! Come back! Ow, oh, my bank <laughs> Alright. Um, so we've got a couple more minutes. We've got about eight more minutes until that's uh, that's ready to rock. We've done the things, we've done the bits and the bobs, and now we can just hang out. <laughs> um, ooh, so. We have. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We might use the uh, the strawberry jam. Have some butter and strawberry jam as uh, 
as the toppings to our crumpets because we still have the strawberry jam, well we still have some strawberry jam from uh, when we cooked it up. So cr I'm thinking crumpies and strawberry jam is going to be the way to go this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, thanks VP. Uh, <laughs> Fine, I'll just sit here and drink coffee. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We've got seven minutes left. Jam, oh, okay. All right, no jam on a crumpy. What do you have on crumpies? I'm not gonna have jam on all of them. <laughs> Here we go. We're waiting. I have butter on crumpies. I have Vegemite. I have uh, I came occasionally. So it's a huge debate in the UK. I, I thought the scoon debate was the, you know, do you put cream then jam or jam then cream? And I thought that was the big one. I hadn't. You stand by salted butter only. Okay. All right. See, I'm one of those weirdos. Um, scone is the bigger one. Ah, scone. Scone, scone, scone. Uh, <clears throat> What's that, Your Majesty? Scone. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Mom. That's showing my age. That's a goodies reference. Um, <laughs> um, also, they're the order of milk and tea. Well, it's got to be tea, then milk. That's the only way it can happen. Because you're steeping the tea in the water to make the flavour of tea. If you do, if you put the milk in, it'll cool the water too far, and it won't. Yeah, I know, right? Um, why is that not on? Sorry, I've just realised that my um, that I'm missing that. There we go. Um, yeah, like you, you put the water in. You put the tea in, the tea steeps in the water, take tea bags out, put the milk in. How is, how is that question? Anyway, um, crumpets, right, so crumpets. I will um, definitely butter swathes and swathes of butter on, on a crumpet. This is, um, you just like get a, an entire slab of butter, just put it on and, and be done with it. <laughs> Some put the milk in first with the tea. If I'm in a rush, like if I'm if I'm like last night, right? Ran out of stream, whacked up myself a cup of tea. Um, I had to get back to the stream. There were I, this needed to happen, so I left the tea bags in. I put the milk in. Off we went. Um, and over the course of the stream, and as I'm drinking it, you can see that the tea bags are still steeping into the milk. Um, but yeah, um, weird. So yeah, what else have I had on crumpets? I love crumpets and Vegemite. Crumpets, Vegemite and butter, just uh, yes, yes please. Um, I occasionally do crumpets with cream cheese. <laughs> um, I have done crumpets with uh, slice, uh, cheese slice, like sliced cheese on there. Um, a nice tangy tasty on a crumpet is, is just... <laughs> Um, I do enjoy that, and occasionally jam. So yeah, I I do a bit of all of it. Because <laughs> you know crumpies, you gotta try all these weird things. What's the weirdest thing I put on a crumpet? I think I did. I think at one time I did I did uh, I, I did a um, egg. I put an egg on a crumpet. <laughs> that. That was, that one was weird. It tasted, it was still edible. <laughs> um, but doing doing a, a, an egg in a crumpet ring as you cook the crumpet, that could be interesting. Um, so the plain crumpet with only butter, I think is one of those upper class fads. That's possible. I don't know. I. 
I have days where I get really experimental with food. Um, and I start putting things together that maybe shouldn't be put together. And sometimes really, really, really shouldn't be put together. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, this is, this is how we learn. This is how we food, right? So, yeah. Levi Tictus, how you doing? Tickus? Le Levi Tickus. Hey, Don, welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. Um, we are doing crumpets. We are doing fresh crumpets. Um, we're a couple of minutes off having the batter ready. Um, and yeah, then we're just discussing how people like crumpets, whether it's just butter or you like meat, you'll do some with butter, some with butter and Vegemite. I've had cream cheese, sliced cheese, egg. Um, Please put, cook me some fried chicken. I've not eaten for three days. Um, oh, is that a pun on Leviticus? Uh, I missed that. Um, why have you not eaten for three days? Eat something. <laughs> not eating for three days, you know, that's... <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm definitely going to have a plain crumpet. Um, I'm probably going to have a crumpet with some strawberry jam um, that we made in a previous stream. And this is all assuming that I actually managed to cook these crumpets. So I'm going to do this, um, you were robbed by some people, they stole my chicken and watermelon at home, that's all they took. Why? That, okay, sure. <laughs> that's odd, but okay. Um, so, cooking these. Um, now, the recipe says at 190 degrees. I've got nothing that can measure 190 degrees, so... But it does say that um, doing it... Um, something dark side. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. It is. Um, so... I don't know what 190 is. It says that um, the you don't want to cook the to cook too fast. So I'm just gonna go for like medium heat. Um, and now that time it didn't beepity beepity anymore. Why are you not beepity beepity anymore at me timer? Boo! Boo! All right. So. Wood. Look at that. Look at that. So that's definitely more than doubled in size and it's all nice and bubbly, which is what we want to make our bubbly, bubbly crumpets. Uh, now, this could be interesting because my small burner is on the fritz still. So we're going to have to use the medium burner, and um, so like, this is why I love thick paste pans. That's already just like there's already heat in that, just instantly, just oh, so great. Right now. I don't know if I need to butter non-stick rings, but I'm going to anyway. Um, because can you really have too much butter <laughs> on a crumpet? I think the answer is no. Oops, don't want that yet. So I'm just gonna grab a bit of paper towel and give it a nice light greasing on the inside. Now, 
Now, these rings, these rings are cool because, like, you've got the, the lip, that's the bottom. But then at the top, there's a, a little lip on the inside at the top as well. I'm not sure what function that serves, but it appears to serve a function. So maybe we're going to find out as we go along and uh, make our make our grumpies. So. Probably going to get a bit of leakage out of this. I don't know what that's going to do to everything, <laughs> but we'll find out. We'll get them. As, we'll get them up to. We'll let them sit in there and get up to temperature a bit. It's probably just going to melt the the butter off it. Can't have too much butter on a crumpet. You've never seen my mum butter something. Okay, so for context, <laughs> my mum always used to keep the, the block of butter in the fridge, right? So it was rock hard and you, you try to butter your toast and it just wouldn't happen. So I got into the habit of either slicing down or slicing across, but, but basically slicing off a layer and that went onto the toast. Um, so I was basically uh, treating it like thin slicing it like it was cheese and putting that on toast and that was the the amount of butter I was eating on toast um, <laughs> but that's what I had to do <laughs> to actually get butter on my toast so now I have um, people have contests trying to out butter me um, so but it's one of those things you know you, you get your butter and you eat it. <laughs> I'll sit here. I'll be making toast. And I'll just sit here and I'll like spooning butter into my mouth. While I'm waiting for the toast to cook. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's all fine. It's fine, I tell you. <laughs> right. It's got a nice heat coming out of it. I'll turn it down just a little bit. Feels good to me. Hey, you don't look like me is a mystery. <laughs> I am a little bit more active than you. <laughs> I'm going to what? One, two, three, four. Yeah, three to four sword fighting trainings a week. Um, may have something to do with it. is probably going to make five, maybe six. And four. There you go. Actually, this scoop seems to be doing really well. Five, I reckon. I reckon we're gonna have just enough for one more. All right, so they're already. Can you see that? It, nah, not really. All right, so these are already coming right up to the edge. Um, they were probably only about half full, but they've instantly just risen to the top of the, um, the top of the form, I guess you'd call it. Oh no, your stream crashed. Did I? No, I haven't dropped any frames. Uh, let's...
let's refresh that tab. See how many cooking things, cooking crumpets we've got. Oh, we've got, yeah, it looks like OBS crashed. Because we now have a, we're now started a second, um, yeah, a second VOD. I am hopefully, I talked to um, IINet again yesterday, maybe the day before. I uh, had a chat to IINet and said, hey, you promised me a new modem, what's going on? They said, whoop, we'll send that to you. Um, so hopefully in the next couple of days I'll have a new modem and that will We will see if that was the issue or whether the issue is at this point out of my control because um, I've done all the updates uh, for my computer and my software. I've done the um, I've done the uh, I've tried different cables um, I've and now I'm going to replace the modem so if all of that doesn't solve the problem, then I guess it's downstream somewhere. So, I don't know. Oh, look at... These, these things are maybe going to be a little thicker than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> but that's okay, right? Alright, well, one of them's gone over the top lip. This one at the back. That one's gone over the, that one. That one's gone over just a little bit over the top lip, but that's okay. All right, that's still a bit, still a bit wet. It's got that, um, there's definitely the, the toasted crumpet smell is definitely starting in the uh, to permeate the kitchen so that's that's really quite nice um, we're not having unsalted butter we're using unsalted butter on the rims we're using salted butter to put on the crumpy because salted butter on a crumpy <laughs> well, I start to get some bubbles this one's got tons of bubbles, this one not so much, and these two hardly any, but I don't know, I'm wondering, I'm just going to dab it a little bit, yeah, there we go, that's where the bubbles are. Bubbles are there. Oh, that one's almost ready. Nice. Which is interesting because just under that, just under the, the top of it, um, like it looks still liquid, but just under it, it's it's becoming quite solid. Um, so that's pretty cool. Well, we got a little bit of smoke coming off of uh, that first one. But the top of it is also still pretty cool. Like the batter in the top. It's still reasonably cool. Hey Zixi, what you doing? That's getting there. That one oddly isn't. Right. Okay. Weird. One of them is almost ready for turning over. So I don't know how that's going to work. Well, I suppose the first thing we should do is take off the see if the ring falls off, eh? <laughs> well, that one does. Whoop! Look at that. Excellent. 
Um, sorry, just shoved my head in the camera. Um, now, I need something to get that off. I think it might be a little stuck to the bottom. Yep, oh, crap. Ha. All right, so it's gone a little bit, a little bit overboard on the bottom there, but that's okay. Sorry, just smacking the camera about. I don't know what's going on. I've done something to the camera. All right, so these come off really easy. Oh, I do like that part. All right, let's get them flipped. <laughs> oh my God. My flipping skills have gone to hell. Yep, we've left these on just a little bit too long. Or a little bit too hot. Or maybe a bit of both. But that's okay. Hey Kiki, how you doing? Welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. So, it was either a little bit too hot, um, or a little bit too long. So, I'm just going to quickly, yeah, okay. Yes, crunchy. Whoops, that's not ready yet. Why are you, why, why? So you can see that's just stuck a little bit to the bottom. So these ones might end up being a little bit doughy. We'll see. Because I think I had them on a bit too, bit too hot. Coffee grade. But these things are fluffy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to chop one in half, so, grumpies! A little bit of charcoal on there, but if I skim that off, whoo, hot! Hot things are hot! Kind of dampery! Crumpies. Take a, still weird. Taking photo of food is still just weird to me. Um, I'm probably going to clean this out just to get rid of the, the gunk in it. Um, actually, let's do that now. pan again like seconds later all right let's have a chop this in half moment and see what that looks like before we butter it up oh nice look at that there's a very nice crumpy crumpy texture in there so we're gonna put a swathe of butter on it look at that Maybe a bit more, because you know, butter, butter. Mm. 
Mm. All right. Cooked a little hot. Um. It, it was cooked a little hot, so there is a little bit of extra um, charcoal flavour in the bottom. Um, but that's okay. That's, that's just some trial and error because I don't have the... Um, I don't have the... Uh, a gauge that I can go beep! But that said, these are, they're light, they're fluffy, um, oh, <laughs> hmm. and realistically, they've taken very little time. Um, so we faffed around, we've, we've faffed around a bit today, but when you think about it, uh, also discovered that salted butter on sour rye bread is amazing. Okay. So I'm not a fan of, um, I'm not a fan of, uh, of sourdoughs and stuff like that, but that's just me. So, um, yeah, I think it's slightly lower temperature, um, but yeah, because you can see, like you can see there, there's there's bits sticking to the plate from uh, where I poorly flipped them. I dislike sourdough and rye bread. <laughs> okay, sure. Keep an eye on that. All right, and now for some sacrilege. I'm gonna take some jam. Some nommy nommy strawberry jam. They're <laughs> gonna, whoop, they're gonna throw it on a crumpet. These are not going to last long. Yes, VP, I am a heretic. Give me a jam. Now the jam doesn't want to go. remember to keep an eye on it. <laughs> hmm. Come on, Jam. You can do it. I've forgotten how yummy this strawberry jam was. Hmm. These are so incredibly tasty. Um, oh wow! <laughs> and I was using the wrong butter too. Woo. I was using the unsalted butter. Oops. Alright, hang on.
And this is the thing <laughs> with having a beard and a moustache. Is that when you're eating gigantic sticky stuff, you need someone to wash off the gigantic sticky stuff. So there we go. Right, so there we didn't use this didn't realistically take that much time. Um, the longest the longest part of this was sitting it off to the side and letting it rise. Um, so um, was what ten minutes for the um, for the yeast active ten minutes to activate the yeast. Um, let's say uh, five minutes of uh, sitting around, let it whisking it up, getting all those ingredients ready and all that. So you know, let's say thirteen minutes at that point, and then what? Five minutes to cook it. So the amount of work was really quite minimal. And here we are, tasty, tasty brunch. <laughs> I'm calling it brunch because I didn't have breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so we are calling it brunch. Hello, brunch. <laughs> um, so there we go. There are crumpets. They are tasty. Oh, no, no. I, uh, I'm full. Right now, my body, my, my stomach has gone, dude, you're good. And I'm like, yes. I, I, I hear the message that you are sending that I am now full of, of goodness. Um, my, my taste buds are going, screw you hippie, more flavor. <laughs> That's the problem, right there, more flavor. <laughs> Is that ready to come off yet? Maybe not. Whoops. <laughs> Just stuck the tongs in the batter. Maybe not my finest moment. Well, isn't that interesting? All right, there we go. Starting to get movement. I wonder if that's why the lips there. So as the as the dough expands, it lifts it off the bottom. Sides are off. Let's try flipping this. Oh, wow. Nope. That really, wow. Okay. What the hell is going on with this one? That whole bottom is about to carve off. Hmm. Alright. Maybe I just didn't, nah. Ooh. Maybe I didn't leave this one long enough? I don't know. Sorry, I keep headbutting the camera. But that does not want to come off. Yeah. Hmm. That should want to come off by now. And I don't know why it doesn't. So we've messed up the sides, that's for certain. Because I had it on lower, maybe I should have left it longer. I don't know. I don't know why this one's come out different. I know this is metal on metal, leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> um, but I need something thinner and, and harder to get in under it. Nope. Okay. I 
I really don't know why it did that. So the next test is going to be throwing these in the, um, well, seeing about scraping off some of that uh, the blackness on the bottom, because they did get a bit black on the bottom. Um, and then letting them cool, and then throwing them in the toaster. <laughs> Talk to my chef friend, see what he thinks. He'll probably just roll his eyes and go, hey tiger, hey you doing? He'll probably just roll his eyes and go, just get it right. Um, hydrate, hydrate before I dehydrate. Where's some hydrate? Hey doing tiger, welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. Ooh, we're gonna have some apple and guava juice hydrate. Because I forgot my regular hydrate. don't know. The crumb, we've already eaten two. Oh, we had we had one with, with just butter. No, 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 no. And then we had one with uh, butter and strawberry jam, which for which uh, VP was a little bit upset. Uh, <laughs> may have called me a heretic. Yes, yes, the occasional honey. Mm. So there we go. Right. So that's closer to how it should look. So the, the lower temperature really works. So you can see the difference there. That this is the new one. This is the older one. But then if I flip them. <laughs> uh, uh. I mean, that one's better. The back's still a bit dark. But that one's better. So I had, obviously, I had the temperature a little bit too high um, to begin with. Um, and then when I, I got the temperature down to a better temperature for that, that last one, um, but I didn't leave it long enough, I should have left it cooking a bit longer um, before that, that went on. So there you go, live and learn. <laughs> and um, yes, I, I can see these... Uh, getting made again <laughs> in the house. I may even do it as filler on an episode or so. <laughs> so what have you been up to, Tiger? How was your Christmas and New Year? Oh, do I have another one? I want to have another one. All right, I'm going to have another one, but just butter. I won't offend VP's delicate sensibilities. Invite her over to, to have a Brit eat crumpets. Here, 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 I'm British. I'm here to eat all crumpets. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You can taste the difference with the salted butter. <laughs> There it is, running down the finger. That's when you know your crumpet is full of butter. <laughs> it starts running down your hand. Mm. 
Nom 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 nom. God. Hello, all right. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. God. Oh, I'm so full. Sneaks in at the last moment, although dinosaurs aren't notoriously sneaky. Depends which dinosaur. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure some of them were, were very, very sneaky. Curious, you're a sudden yet inevitable betrayal. <laughs> Alright, so we got a few dishes to do. Still not as many as I usually have to do at the end of the stream, so that's nice. I'm well. I'm now full. I'm so incredibly full. <laughs> I don't know. I may have to make another batch of crumpets. <laughs> I may have to do this all over again. Yeah, full is very good. Oh. Nom, nom, nom. I really am debating doing another batch. <laughs> Yeah, me too, Rach. I, I just had uh, butter crumpets for breakfast. Mmm, <laughs> butter crumpets. So, there we go. We're back. We're streaming. We're live. <laughs> was it? Oh, breakfast. That's what I forgot. Makes sense why I'm hungry. No, no, it's the awesome cooking stream, Tiger. The awesome cooking stream that's making you hungry. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I, I should have stopped it too, but I just couldn't. It was just so tasty. Um, so now that these are... As these cool off, it's going to be... going to be interesting to see what happens putting them in the toaster. Because... Toasted crumpets, right? I mean, hot straight off the pan is, is <laughs> it's a whole nother level. <laughs> um, but we are going to have to, we're going to have to try some toasted crumpies. So, there we go. We've streamed. Short one today. You know, we'll probably hit two, we'll probably start hitting towards two, uh, two hours by the time we're done with it. But there we go. All right, let's see how many, how many, how many cooks have, how many cookings have we got? How many VODs? Only two. Look at that. We've only got two. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> it's been happening a lot lately. Hopefully the new modem will solve that problem. Um, fingers crossed. So... Crumpies! So, excellent. Thank you, VP. Thank you very much for this recipe. Um, for those who've been keeping up on Discord, uh, VP put this one up in Discord, and we are making it today. Nom, 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 nom. Um, let me know. <laughs> yeah, right. Remember we talked about that, right? And I said they were sending me one? Well, I, I rang them again the other day, like a day or two ago. And they said, oh, oh, we'll get that sent out to you. So, now I've got to check my emails and see if they're actually doing it, and if they're not... I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll give him another ring. It's my new maiden, people. Come on. You're better than this. Nah, that's all good, Rach. It's all good. I want them, I want them to fulfill their promise. <laughs> I adore that, I am, I so adore that you are so willing to help. That is awesome. But I would like them to fulfill their promise. <laughs> Tell them to kiss the sheep and comp your month's bill. Maybe. 
<laughs> uh huh. The darkest part of my lily white. <laughs> I think that's a firefly. I think that's a firefly quote from Jane. Oh no, it's not. No, no, that's a Tully quote from Avatar. Uh, not Last Airbender, the Blue People Avatar. That's a Tully quote. <laughs> Whew. Getting my getting my pop culture references mixed up. <laughs> um, right, so what have we got coming up? Coming up! We have all sorts of fun things. Tomorrow we'll be back with uh, some Valheim. Yay, Valheim! Uh, we'll be playing that with Wardham. Then on the Monday, we've pretty much, we've finished No Man's Sky. Um, we did all the missions, we did the reset, we we came back, we fixed everything, literally fixed everything. Um, bought a couple of hundred more wiring looms. Um, so yeah, now it's just rinse repeat. It looks like. Um, it looks like they they are planning a new update, um, but it. It's mostly cosmetic. So at some point we might do a, a bonus stream when that update comes out. We'll have a look around. Um, we might do a bonus stream, uh, mostly for YouTube, uh, to go on the end of the thing for YouTube, and we'll uh, we'll add in. We'll go around and we'll have a look at what all these, well, what cosmetic changes are there. We'll have a look around and we'll see what we can do. Um, so we might do that when that new update comes out. But, uh, what, whoops, what are we doing? Um, Rach, I'm taking my niece to the movies this afternoon. Woot! And then she's coming for sleepover. Aww! Which movie are you seeing? Uh, Rach, I might take her out for brekkie tomorrow, but hopefully I'll make, this, make it to stream after that. Sway. Vivi, I need to go back and watch your Valheim playthrough so I can land. There is a lot of learning in the... <laughs> In the Valheim playthrough, there is a lot. Um, a fair whack of it is already up on YouTube, so go check it out. Um, yay, Tiger! Working this afternoon, but thank you for the invite. Going to see Wish. Okay, haven't heard of Wish. Um, so yeah, we've uh, in Valheim, we've found the final boss, uh, and we'll generally start making our way over to have a look at. at what's going on with the final boss, where they are. Um, then we will... Then there is meant to be an update of a new area coming out um, shortly. I don't know when that's coming out, so we'll see. Um, still going to be a few weeks before we're finished Valheim. Um, if the new update comes out um, while we're still playing, we will no doubt play that. Um, depending on when it's scheduled, like if we've, if we've got a week or two of just bumming around doing some more, uh, you know, whatever base building or whatever, um, we'll keep going with Valheim, uh, and we'll, we'll get to, we'll go get to see what the new update is. Um, then once that's done, we have a, a new game on the plan called Sunken Land. It's uh, current, last I checked it was still in beta. But it looks like a fun game. I've played a little bit of it. It's a really fun game. Um, the sleep patterns are weird. You'll, you'll see how that works when we play it. But yeah, once we're done with Valheim, we're going to move on to Sunken Land. Um, another survival game that we'll be playing with Warden. No problem. Uh, um, <laughs> right. Yes, VP, you can learn how to die in the plains and the mountains and drown a couple of times and then... <laughs> How to do over there, and then over there, and over here, and twice. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, right? Uh, Manage to crush yourself with the tree. See, they, the trees chase you. What? Watch the first couple of episodes, VP. It's just trees falling on me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, watch, I'm gonna have to down back, download it back onto the computer and do a montage of all the times the trees fell on me. 
Ugh. Yeah, it look, it's um It was very until we got a base and a firm base and we got a couple of uh, resource farm options going for it. Um, it was annoyingly killy killy. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it was really annoyingly killy killy. So but once you got a base, once you got a couple of farms going, um, you spend a lot of time farming in this game. Uh, almost. I'm not going to say it's a ridiculous amount, but it's close. The the fact that you are um, a, a fair amount of your time is taken up by simple survival by getting the foods and farming the foods and building the things to farm the foods and all of that is um i think it's a like and we're playing on we're playing on normal level to be clear we're, we're not playing on super hard or anything like that um and it's large it's a large amount of um farming <laughs> Uh, VP. Oh, it didn't even fall on me. It rolled into me at about 3k an hour. <laughs> well, you must have been out of stamina and then not able to run away effectively because, you know, who needs... <laughs> what? I, I, I wrote a review uh, on Steam and part of it was that, um, the, that I didn't know that Norseman had the stamina of a morbidly obese six-year-old. <laughs> So, look up, your stamina's run out. Oh, shit. Okay. Look down. You can't. You don't have any stamina. <laughs> um, so, yeah, playing more Valheim on Fridays. Uh, then we go around to Tuesdays. We've, we've finished No Man's Sky, and we will be, hopefully, starting some Baldur's Gate. Um, which will be nice. Uh, we'll probably do... I... I want to do the first bit, um, depressingly your Valheim character can run further than you. <laughs> um, so yeah, on Tuesdays we'll be, we'll hopefully be, because we've finished No Man's Sky, we'll be starting um, Baldur's Gate. We, I want to see if we can get Upright in. Uh, he probably won't be able to do the whole stream, but we'll, we'll get him in special guest starring, hopefully. Uh, Warden wants in, so he will likely be playing, and he has made noises that uh, Jim Tor might want to join us. Some of you might remember Jim Tor from the chats here and there, um, but he's an IRL friend as well. Uh, so we might get Jim Tor in there as well, into Baldur's Gate. We'll be starting from scratch, starting from the beginning, and spending days and weeks and months and years <laughs> playing God's only knows how much Baldur's Gate. Um, we will probably <laughs> um, we will probably do um, I don't know how the the multiplayer works in Baldur's Gate whether it's you know you, you all go your separate ways you're all on the same path you all get the same cutscenes I don't know so we'll try and figure out how that'll work for stream and all that but we'll see um, but I'm thinking uh, that we will have a, we will try at least doing a no redo, um, no redo playthrough. So instead of you know, hey, you've got to roll the dice, quick save, roll the dice, didn't like that, reload, quick save, you know, reload, re-roll, reload, re-roll, reload, re-roll. Um, that can be done. That's that's perfectly legitimate way to, to do uh, Baldur's Gate. Um, however, it is a little more hardcore uh, to just see where the dice roll, um, and probably a little bit more in keeping with with uh, what a playthrough is meant to be. So we will probably do that. Um, we'll spend the first however long doing a doing character creation. Um, the one thing I, I'm going to have to talk to everyone about is what style, like what alignment of playthrough are we going to do here? Um, 
I'd rather not do a, a pure evil where you just, you know, annihilate everybody for the sake of annihilating everybody. I'd rather do a helpful playthrough. Um, because most... And part of this is me. Part of this is I, I like helping, right? No, no problem there. Part of it, though, is that when I, when I go watch streamers play these games... The, very seldom do I find someone doing a I'm trying to be the most helpful I can be playthrough. Most of them are going, oh, uh, uh, you know what, yeah, whatever, death, haha, <laughs> I win, I, I loot all your gear. Oh, oh, look, I've got choices of being okay or a total douche, haha, <laughs> total douche. Um, and it, it, it annoys me a little bit. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm... I want to. I will want to go a little bit more towards the good side of things, um, with with less random, less random hate. <laughs> Let's call it that. Um, low int barber big stick. <laughs> um, so yeah, the um, that's the idea. The idea is we, I'll, I'll have a chat to, to the rest of them. Um, I'm going to suggest a, a moderately good playthrough. Uh, but, you know, look, it's it's Baldur's Gate. That, that sometimes there's going to be stuff that is going to tick our characters off and we're going to go, you know what, SWAT. Screw you, hippie. <laughs> and we'll adventure through. Um, we'll... Oh, well, there will be a certain amount of, of interaction as we level up. Um, there are there's a couple of spells that I am that I always have in all of my D and D style characters. Uh, for example, if I can get Featherfall, <laughs> I, w I will have Featherfall because you know I am for a click. I've been pushed off a cliff. Click. Okay, there we go. We've Featherfallen. Ta da! And we're good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's that's the idea, um, and we'll see how we go with that. Then Wednesdays. So Wednesday we are back playing Assassin's Creed Mirage. We have probably two, maybe three episodes left. And I, I know I said that last time, but last time, uh, last night, we did a whole heap of the, the contract missions. It was just contract mission after contract mission that I didn't think was there anymore. I didn't think, I thought we were pretty much at the end of those and it turned out we weren't. So we did a whole heap of contract missions. Um, but we've done nearly everything else in the game that we can do, which is insane. I had a look at the trophies and um, we're not that far off of getting all of the trophies. We may even plat this out. Um, <coughs> we may even plat this out um, before we're finished. So <laughs> we'll... We'll see how we go with that. Um, platting out the trophy as you finish the game in the first playthrough is just... That just appeals <laughs> to my completionist. <laughs> really does appeal to my completionist. Um, once we've done that, we'll be moving on to um, swapping back and forth between Minecraft and, um, and Assassin's Creed 1. Because we tried Assassin's Creed 1. I couldn't find somewhere to fit it. Um, back in, so we are going to start again. We're going to start it again, and we're going to play it all the way through. We are going 100% it if we can. Um, and then, see, there's a lot going on, can you tell? <laughs> and then, we come all the way back around to Thursday, which I have no idea what we're going to cook, but we are going to cook something. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to cook, but we will cook something. So that's what's going on. That's what's coming up. That's what's going by. Bye. <laughs> um, so right, I'm going to sign off um, before this. Before we start, you know, bugging out and getting 52 million uh, vods that for people to not watch through. <laughs> um, yeah. So, ta-da. That's what's coming up. That's what's going on. Stay tuned. Remember, we've got VODs coming out all the time, Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. Adelaide time, um, on YouTube. 
So you can go back, watch your, watch your favourites. You can learn how to play Valheim the hard way. <laughs> and when all is said and done, um, we can go. So uh, if you have been watching along, thank you for watching along. Um, if you haven't yet, click the follow button because follows are free and we're heading towards 400. <laughs> Got 302. Um, we'll, uh, when we get to 400, we'll do another UCS Lego build. Um, so yay! Click follow. Um, if you are over, if you are heading over to YouTube, if you could subscribe over there, that would be awesome. Uh, again, on YouTube, the subscription is free. Um, so click follow, get alerts, get all the stuff. <laughs> Hug love for everyone! Yay! <laughs> thank you for the love, Rach. Uh, for those who are in chat, thank you for being in chat. You are awesome. It always makes life so much easier when people are in chat. It's like I, I'm, I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> I know you're watching, it's fine. Um, but if you, look, if you are just watching along and that's all you feel comfortable with, that's awesome. Just watch along. That's, it's just great that you're watching along. <laughs> so, um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for hanging out. Hopefully, oh, did I, I don't think I said the thing. <gasps> so, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, that was a stream. There we go. Almost forgot. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I will see everyone tomorrow. If I don't, I will see you when I see you. Until then, please, and I mean this, please take care of yourselves and each other. Bye. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Don't forget to check the description for any links I may have left there. If you like the video, please press like or subscribe to my channel. Next video in the series is up here. Until then, stay safe, have fun.